It's date night. We made mac and cheese. And we put lobster in the mac and cheese. Yep, that's right. Every day cooking, dad. Cooking every day. All right. Welcome in. Welcome back. All right, guys. This is a real easy one. All the ingredients will be down below. We got onion powder, garlic powder, flour, Lowry's, macaroni, cheese, and lobster. So we're going to get started by deshelling or cutting the meat out of the lobster. You know, you can cut from the bottom. You can cut from the top. Just get the meat out of there. Just be careful. Don't cut your hands. And don't get pricked by the uh, lobster. It's a little sharp. So go ahead, get your meat out. If you've never seen it before, here you go. Pretty sure you can figure that out. And there's meat right in there. Don't leave that behind. All right, and don't throw your shells away. And guys, right here, sometimes there could be a little uh, doo doo in there, Ooh, like green doo doo. So I just open it up, make sure nothing's in there. All right, so we got all the rest of these done. See it once, you saw it for life. You don't need to see it again. And this is what we're doing with our shells. We're putting it in our milk. And we're going to cook the shells while we simmer the milk. Get every piece of flavor out of that lobster that we can. All right, so we're going to shred our own cheese. Now, you could buy the cheese already shredded, but it comes with a, a powder on it. So they don't stick together and this is cheaper shred it yourself no big deal it's easy takes five minutes to do all right so we got both our cheeses shredded easy schmeasy all right so then we got our milk with our lobster shell i'm gonna go ahead and remove the shells so we got our pan heated or medium right now. Medium, medium high. And we go down with some olive oil and some butter. So we let the butter melt. And in we go with our lobster. Now we're only gonna cook this lobster about halfway. But don't forget, we're gonna be putting this mac and cheese in the oven to brown up. So you know it's gonna cook a little bit more. So down for a few minutes or so. Once you start to see it turn in color, go ahead and give it a flip. And then once you got these all mixed up, go ahead and just give this a nice stir. You know that lobster flavor, man, that's gonna be some good stuff. So we flavored the uh, milk. Now we just flavored the butter with the lobster. So in we go with uh, some flour. We're gonna make a roux. It's a light roux. We're just gonna cook the uh, flour taste or the pasty taste out of the flour. Ooh, look at that shell. All right, so once this flour starts to come together, like right about here, now, if you go any further, you're going to get, you know, gravy. So we want to keep this white. And we go with our milk. And our milk and our flour, this is going to start to thicken up. The roux is going to start to thicken. So we're going to wait for that magic to start happening. It takes about five minutes or so. But then we go with some uh, onion powder. And then some garlic powder. It's about a teaspoon. So I'm just doing this by hand because we are going to taste as we go, especially a dish like this. Everything you put in is going to be pretty much cooked already. So you want to taste as you go. We'll give this a spin and wait for it to start to come together. Look at the bubbles in it. See, it's starting to bubble up, get thicker. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our cheese in. We're not gonna dump all the cheese. We're gonna just go slowly, let it melt, give it a spin, let it melt, give it a spin. So we're gonna keep adding our cheese 
and stir, add our cheese and stir until we look like this. And this is where we taste. All right, we're going in with some salt. Now, I didn't record it, but I did put some Lowry's in there. Not much, about a teaspoon. And then with our black pepper. the guys, we're going in slow with the um, salt. Because you got to remember, the salt's got to dissolve. So you got to give that salt at least uh, 30 seconds to a minute to kind of incorporate before you taste it again. Because if you taste it right away, you're going to say it's not enough salt. Then you're going to put more salt. So then it'll be too salty. So now we go in with our macaroni. Now I didn't strain the macaroni. You know pour the water off i'm coming straight out of the pot with the macaroni so we're getting a little bit of the water from the macaroni it's helping loosen up that uh gruel just a little bit all right so all our macaroni is in and this is what we look like so now we're going to make our little uh, uh panko or our bread crumb uh topping for our macaroni I guess you could probably throw some Ritz cracker in there too. That probably would be nice. So we got the butter. We're going to let that toast up a little bit. And then we're going to give a, this a little hit of some uh, Parmesan cheese. Just a little bit, not too much. We just want to add a little flavor, another layer of flavor. So we got the butter, we got the lobster, yeah, we got salt, pepper. All right, now it's time to put this in our little uh, radikin or our little bowl. So, and we go with the macaroni. I want to go all the way to the top because guess what we're putting in now? Yeah, we're putting in the lobster. Now I tried to be fair. Everybody got the same amount, but you know, hey, chef's choice. The surprise is on the inside. All right, just push it down. A little bit of that extra flavor from the lobster. You know, a little bit of that butter and lobster flavor. Mm. Top it with some more cheese. Guys, we're almost in a home run stretch here. We're almost done. Going with our little uh, breadcrumb or panko buttered topping. This is going to be good. This is good. You want to surprise somebody, show, you know, show them some love. Give them, if they're not allergic to lobster, give them this. So this is going to go ahead and go in the oven. 350 for 20 minutes or until it's all brown and bubbly. I found some scallops in the uh, freezer. So why not? Let's just go ahead and make some scallops. That's another video. 15 minutes later, this is what we got. We got lobster mac and cheese. And here's our flyover. We got our nice crumble top. We got mac and cheese. And this is what we paired it up with. Some prime ribs, scallops, and string beans. Guys, this was pretty easy. Came together really good. Tasted good. Was good. Every day cooking dad cooking every single day take a look at this prime rib video and let's get cooking